Hey everybody, welcome for another progressive rock guitar lesson. Doing a lot of classic progressive rock. We'll be doing some modern progressive rock as soon as I um, learn a lot of it. Um, so this is Rush. This is uh, New World Man. So the first chord is um, basically uh, D. So you're um, so you're moving this finger around here, and you're going to use your pinky, but you're going to keep these two down. You're going to leave those pinned to the key to the fretboard. That's good. So that's our first section. It's pretty simple. And you're kind of mute, palm muting it on your right hand. So this part, so the F part, as you notice, the G is open. So you're just fretting the first or the top three strings, just like it was an F chord. And then, so that's a B flat, C, and an F. And so in context, but you play it, once you get good at it, you just play it really smoothly. Um, that's pretty clear. I don't think that's too difficult. And then the um, chorus, I guess. It's basically an F. And then a B flat sus2. So again. And then a G minor. And then you take the uh, top of your G minor chord. You just strike it once. Just ride it up uh, two frets and back. Which is so cool. I think that's a really unique little thing he does in that song. So. Now you notice you can play uh, just that. But if you want to kind of play, like if you're playing by yourself, usually I will. I'll put that note, the bass note in there, and then I'll go from the B flat to the A. And I'm still, still on that chord though. So sort of imitating what Getty Lee does, you go G, F, F sharp G. Now the D chord riff, but it's different. It's not like the intro. The intro was... By the way, I think he... It's hard to tell because listening to the mix, it's hard to pick out exactly what Lifeson's playing, but I think he plays an A in there. He goes... So in, in other words, the fifth string, he's kind of throwing that in there instead of... What do you think? Do you think he throws the A in there or not? Now, so we've uh, led up now to the chorus. No, we've already done the chorus. All right, now. I don't know what you call this section then. It's kind of the little riff run. Uh. So it's similar to the opening riff, but it's different. It's a D, and then open D again, and then E, open G, third string, and then
So as far as the right hand goes, I'm doing an upstroke and downstroke pretty consistently, but there is a little bit of a pausing here and there. So it's... So I suppose I'm skipping one downbeat, as you notice the, the action of my hand there. Up. And I went down without striking again, so I went... Now I'm pretty sure that's not the only way you can pick it. It really, it's your preference, whatever you want to do. All downstroke if you want. Sort of the punk method. Or do start in an upstroke or downstroke. Basically a C, and a G, and a D, which you can play alternate uh, spots in your keyboard, different positions like... That's what I used to do when I was in a cover band, we did some rush tunes, I just went like this. While our bass player was doing some wicked Giddy, La Giddy Lee style soloing and that Giddy does in that song. So let me think. So there's only one other part where they're kind of sort of a right hand palm mutes again. So there you go. This is probably a, a great um, song for a beginner or a newer guitarist because you can actually play like Alex Lifeson and it's not <laughs> really difficult. Uh, it's quite a pretty straightforward song. Although I guess these parts are not super simple really are they? But uh, great, great songs to learn regardless of your skill level. I love playing it and uh, hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know when I got new videos out. I'm doing um, Lots of guitar lessons for progressive rock. Mostly been doing classic. I'm going to be doing modern as well. And of course, I'm doing my um, reaction videos for progressive modern rock music. This is Dean Wolf signing off. It's been a pleasure to be with you. Talk to you later. Bye now.